Action. I would say The Bay is a very compelling, emotionally complex crime thriller uh, that puts family at the heart and the experience of a family going through one of the worst things imaginable. It's suspenseful, it's intriguing, and hopefully emotionally engaging. It's Lisa's show. She's our central character. She's the family liaison officer. There's so much love in this story, you know. I think that's what's really important, is like the strength of family. The idea of family liaison, of working closely with the family at a time of crisis, is, is what the show is about. It's not something that we look at specifically, in, or that I've seen personally in other crime dramas on TV. So it's sort of a different angle. It's a very interesting dynamic, one that we've not seen in a drama this closely before. I think Dara's approached this. He's not started out to write a police drama. In a way, the, the police part of the story is, is secondary to a very human, human story. I thought the way that Dara drew this picture of this family who were really distraught, whose children were missing, was really um, gripping, compelling, but also really sensitively done. When I first read script one, I, I did want to carry on reading, and it was that that kind of made me go, wow. I remember reading this and thinking, OK, because I haven't got kids, but I remember thinking, how would you deal with something as horrific as that? You know, if your kids go missing and one of the suspects, the, the, the main suspect, is taken into, into custody and then released, what would you do? It's like being a vigilante, it's taking the law into your own hands. It's a cracking good read. It has um, fantastically strong uh, characters, very believable, very real a really strong narrative drive as well, which kind of takes you through to the end, and I, I just couldn't put it down. It was a real page turner. The reason um, Dara's idea appealed so much to me is because it's really hard to find a fresh way to tell a crime story, and he had managed to find one through making the central character a family liaison officer. So quite often when we see these things on TV, you're kind of the, the police investigation and what the family are going through are kept quite separate but you've literally got a lead character that is the kind of conduit between those two things with this. You can get right into the heart of the family dynamics in the crime. Action. I love the fact that we have two kind of stories happening. One is the police drama which is you know gripping and we have to find out where these kids boom 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 but also on the other side we have Lisa the the family liaison officer who's the emotional rock for this distraught family and I think what he's done is he's fused the two things together really beautifully and I think it's a really gripping tale. I tend to be interested in writing family drama but I also wanted something that had that kind of genre. So it was the coming together of those two ideas. On the one hand the family liaison officer and on the other hand the world of Markham in the Bay. So when he said it was set in Morecambe, which he can see out of his writing room on the top of the hill in Lancaster where he lives, it was a no-brainer. There was no point looking anywhere else. It was, Morecambe was it. And I'd never seen it on screen. No one's ever set a drama there. And it's an exceptionally beautiful place. Morecambe Bay is a sort of film set on its own. It's just this backdrop. I mean, and it really does, as a bay, just keep continuously just going round. It's, it's amazing. Uh, fortunately, the bay is an incredibly an evocative place. It's a huge estuary with vast plains of sand with a little uh, seaside coastal town. The main thing for me is I wanted the scale. I wanted the scale of Morecambe. It's a huge landscape um, and I wanted our characters to feel very much embedded in that landscape and to make it feel authentic. I kind of feel like it's really important to set stories, prime time drama stories, in these towns because that is the reality of the country that we're living in. It, it, there is a massive divide between people doing well and people really not. I wanted to set something in that area, the area of the bay, because it is, it's interesting. It's got a lot to offer, I think. There's a lot of story there. It's a beautiful place. The landscapes are absolutely stunning. Uh, I mean, it's one of the things that instantly strikes you, but it's also somewhere that has problems, you know, it's someone that suffered a great deal from uh, austerity. It's very much Morecambe, it's very, very rooted in that place and I was, that, that was really important to me that it had the kind of specificity and detail of being very much in that place. It reminds me a lot of the towns I grew up in, you know, they were booming for a while and then they weren't and 
And that's the story in a lot of places, a lot, uh, you know, uh, across the UK. And I think to actually really place something in a town that is struggling and where people are struggling, um, that felt really important to me. In terms of the writing and the language, the dialogue um, and the character, I hope it has the texture of, of the place as well. So I hope it feels like, uh, like Morgan. The key thing for me about Dara's writing is the nature of the dialogue. It's so um, authentic, it fizzes, it kind of jumps off the page. It's, it's, it's very easy actually to speak um, and that's not always the case with some scripts. Dara's script tells a very realistic tale with very realistic characters. And I think that Morvan Christie in herself brings reality to this role. She's a very strong-willed person, but she does nothing fake about her. There's no bells and whistles with Morvan. When she comes onto set, you feel like she is the character. She's, she's certainly, she's done all her work. She's very coherent. She's very clear, very articulate, and she's a terrific person to work with. So the character of Lisa um, is ultimately, like us all, flawed. Um, and the great thing that Morvan Christie brings to the role is that she really gets under the skin of, of the complex character that Lisa is. Lisa is a very hardworking, very talented detective who is also a kind of normal woman that's full of imperfections. The reason I love Lisa as a character is because she's real, she's flawed, she's not perfect, she's like the rest of us, she's a bit cross sometimes, she's very, she can be very witty, she, she just has real emotional range and resonance and Dara's written her so beautifully she feels properly three-dimensional, like someone you know. Lisa's job is incredibly involving, it's sort of a 24-7 job because you're constantly on call to the family, they can ring you at any time of the day or night. A family liaison officer has a really, really key role to play in the investigation of any crime. All of their stuff is literally behind closed doors. It's from station to house, house to station, station to house. Uh, just being with the family and supporting them, but also being detectives at the same time. At the nucleus of it all, you've got these family liaison officers doing the rough groundwork. And I think audiences will be hopefully excited by seeing that dynamic. That role, the family liaison officer role, um, it brings you into the heart, the emotional heart of, of the sort of the crime story in, a, in just a different way than I think we've seen on TV before. When you do work as a family liaison officer, um, you kind of have to wean off the family. It's like a process because you become so close. Any investigation, any criminal investigation, detectives aren't really ever off duty, they're constantly kind of working. I think that's had an effect on Lisa's home life, on her family life. Lisa Armstrong's, her sort of family kind of gets pushed aside. She's got children around the same age. So she's focusing all her time on this investigation with me and my family and also not realising what's happening with hers. She's just become, I think, so ingrained in the work that she's maybe just taking her eye off the ball with, with her kids a little bit. One of the things I'm keen on as a director is to kind of not only tell the story from a literal point of view, but also to give the audience a sense of what it's like to be in the story. Just to kind of paint the picture and to give a sense tonally of there is something happening here. We don't know what it is, but it's putting us on edge. I'll tell you what, if I was to rename this show and it wasn't the bay, I'd call it What Lies Beneath because there is so much stuff going on behind the scenes of all of these characters. At the start, it feels like, yes, this is a pure crime drama. This is something that there are missing children. It's something that we have seen in many shows, I'm sure. But it's the little twists and the little details that are coming out of these characters as they progress, as the episodes progress, you go, oh, there's a lot more to see here.